What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We have a, another first round game here, played by Mr. Def Jam himself and a newcomer to the uh, tournament, the last two tournaments at least, Mr. Lasuke, uh, Mr. Ali. I uh, don't think he played in the last one. If he did, uh, I'm not exactly sure. Um, but yeah, either way. <laughs> Maybe he's not, and I just said that for no reason. Because I think he was. No, okay, I don't even. I, I'm just gonna stick with that. He is a, a newcomer to the tournament. I'll just be wrong if I'm wrong. Uh, but yeah, he is against Def Jam, Mr. RRJB, who we have seen before. Um, uh, playing on his official Def Jam name here, so he is going to be Zerg in a nice little corner spot versus the Terran, uh, right in this other bottom left. And we shall see how this goes. Def Jam, definitely the favorite to win this. Uh, but this tournament is no stranger to upsets. And in a best of three, anything can happen. So uh, we'll see if Blue can get himself an uh, upset over Def Jam. A very solid player here. Um, getting eliminated by Kokanee in that last tournament. Uh, Def Jam famous for having incredibly strong Terran play, uh, but his Zerg and Protoss are also pretty go sue. Oh my goodness. I did all that. Oh, we're not starting over again. I'll just fix the webcam now. <laughs> we are not starting over. Uh, is the webcam back? Okay. We're good now. Yeah, it, it, the, my face isn't that important to the game. You guys can still hear me, and uh, now you can see me. So, um, <laughs> yeah, not gonna worry about that. Uh, we got the three barracks here up against the um, double sunken right away. So Def Jam playing it safe with that double sunken, not gonna take any risks. His uh, Overlord did go in a little bit of an interesting path. Went right up here instead of scouting out the middle. Um, I don't believe he saw that SCV, but this Marine is going to find him soon time, uh, getting lots of scouting off. Uh, no gas or anything from Def Jam. He does have two Zergling outs that are going to go scout around for himself. Um, and yeah, we shall see. This Overlord is going to run away. I feel like he did uh, see that SCV now. And yeah, both players are going to know where each other are. That S or Marine going to sacrifice himself for the good of the scout. And it looks like he's going to go for that very quick double factory out in front of the Zerg choke here. Now, getting an engineering bay as he is a little short on gas. Only having a single gas right now. Um, also getting close to being supply stuck, but that, over that depot will finish as he's uh, seized Marine production here as well. I need to throw down an additional gas, so if he does want to afford this, unless he's going to go for a uh, factory starport, he is going to actually delay that engineering bay and start that factory now that he does have enough gas. So, a uh, cute little move there from our Terran player. Uh, not wasting any time. Going to just make that SCV work while he's waiting. Uh, we have that layer just started here for Def Jam. So, Def Jam has... Um, isn't shy from using the Muta build as well. We've got some pretty good Muta micro himself. And we'll see if that's what he opts to do. If we are going to see that Hydra this den get thrown down and use some lurkers. Anything uh, is still possible. Uh, looks like we got a Zergling going to actually get a run by and get a little bit of a scout off. And let's see, the Marines are going to stop it. No, they're just going to give him a little high five as he runs into the base. Uh, going to see that there is an academy, so he is going to have to be cautious of a stim, marine stim break. Uh, that is always possible. And look at that, a cute little move here. Also going to pick off that SCV right before it finishes that academy. So just going to delay that stim upgrade and those medics coming out for a little while. 
uh, trying to chase this Ling down. This Ling running into some, some SCV geyser traffic, but is going to continue his scouting spree. Uh, I think he's going to now die to these rallied marines up here. Uh, is going to get shot down, but uh, he has been successful. This academy still not being finished, so uh, we'll see if that has some uh, future consequences for him. Okay, there he is. He is going to finally finish it now. And we do have the, the Spire and the Queen's Nest being thrown down. So Def Jam is going to go for the Muter Harass into the Guardians. Uh, this Engineering Bay has got a full scout off on how big that choke is. Looks like it's going to be big enough that just Marines aren't going to be able to kill it. And this tank is going to start plowing away at that front. Uh, getting two creep colonies here inside of his base as well. And an evil chamber. So it looks like he is going to... Uh, be prepared for any kind of floating uh, engineering bay on top of his nexus or on top of his hatchery. The hive is now starting uh, as these tanks continue to push forward. Gonna have to add some sunkins there just to buy himself some time. Uh, once this fire done, it looks like he is saving up his larvae. Okay, maybe right as I say, look, he's not gonna get a couple more drones though. He is on three gas, which is a lot of gas this early on. That's nine of his 31 drones actually just collecting gas. So uh, he is going to want to get a little bit more drones out to start collecting those minerals. Is getting some scourge right now in case there is a vessel or drop play. Vessel uh, going to be popping out here shortly once he does have enough minerals. A little short on gas he is now. Uh, maybe a little bit delayed on that second and third uh, geyser. Uh, but nothing too big of a deal. The Spore is going to take down this Engineering Bay, which is his main scouting. The Engineering Bay did not come in here, so uh, Blue does not know yet what he is up against. If he is up against Lurkers or Mutas. That's why, typically, M Mr. Mamba taught me is you, is you float two Engineering Bays. One to help the tank shoot, and he said your first one uh, down in the main to scout. As it's difficult to get a scout off early on uh, with this choke build from the Zerg. So, uh, that is what Mr. Mamba always taught me back in the day. Two Engineering Bays. Doesn't cost that much money, you just stop one round of um, marines and you float one into the main, your first one, and the second one you use for tank uh, vision. I'm going to start pushing forward here with all of his marines now and tanks, but I think there is still too many sunken colonies, but maybe not. He is going to start pushing forward now. Greater Spire is about a quarter of the way done, but he is going to now sacrifice all of these marines here. Not nearly enough medics to keep those alive, and now there may be enough for Jesse's Mutas to come in here and push back at these tanks. As all of his marines, a lot of his tanks, just not the best engagement there. Now maybe getting a little impatient was Blue there, trying to capitalize on some of those building sunkers, but those did spawn, and there was a little bit too many in the nice position there. And just, yeah, going to have a very not cost-efficient trade at all, and that is going to hurt him. Uh, these mutants are going to be able to come in here now and potentially take it out. He does have a lot of turrets, so uh, both at home and outside of the choke. is starting his uh, command center back at home in another starport. Now that he knows that it is an air build, he's going to be able to get a vessel sneaking in here. Oh, dodges, dangles those scourges, but those scourges do uh, catch it. Uh, Muta's coming in here, stopping that armory from being created, which will prevent the Valkyries from coming out. Um, and that first vessel also going to go down, so not the best start for our blue Terran player here. Zurich has now taken the supply lead and has a good number of Mutas and Guardians starting right now. So this is looking tough for our blue pair. Blue player uh, really going to have to yeah, start doing something back at home, throwing down some star ports to try to answer, but these Muta numbers may just be too big. Mm. Only two Sunkins left, only two tanks and a four Marines here shooting away. Uh, picking off some reinforcements here are the Mutas, very nicely done. And now these Guardians are going to be able to clean up uh, the front. And this uh, two factory build is getting shut down super hard right now. Um, yeah, with this nice number of mutas. It uh, does have a good number of marine medics back at home, so he's not going to die to straight up mutas. And uh, we'll see what he's going to build out of these starports to deal with the guardians. But uh, nonetheless, this is going to give Def Jam an opportunity to once again macro up, start massing out his drones, which you can see he's doing now. Fill up his gas, get his economy going, start massing up hatcheries, and just get himself in that position 
where he can just throw up a couple of lurkers and defilers at his choke and do what he wants from there. Um, yeah, and we'll see if he just wants to go on the super offensive though, instead of waiting for those defilers. Lots of starports going down. One Valkyrie and a bunch of Marines here. These Mutas kind of AFK walked into that, taking a lot of damage from that Valkyrie, but he's also breaking the front here at the same time. Uh, so a multitasking fight and looks like there's more than enough back here to kill a lot of those mutas So that is a good sign, but he isn't gonna lift off these factories He's gonna try to save that science facility here at the back um, But yeah, uh, Def Jam is in a proper good position here and Gonna start just making guardians here right at the choke gonna get a couple of devourers I imagine too to deal with those Valkyries Lifting up these factories at the last second, trying to maximize now blue buy himself as much time as possible. Now, but consume is being upgraded. Lurker is being upgraded as well, wherever that hydroist den is. And yeah, he is ready to transition from this once blue uh, overcommits potentially to trying to stop this air. He is going to have a backup plan. And uh, yeah, lurkers are pretty pretty good versus Terran underneath that swarm. And yeah, the Terran's not gonna have a single factory either, so he's gonna have to try to deal with that with the Valkyries, potentially Vessels, and the Marine Medic. And not exactly what you want, uh, as he did invest so much in that early push, really trying to break that Zerg player nice and early. Uh, spreading up that one Devourer. Not a huge number of Guardians yet, so maybe this uh, Marine Valkyrie is actually going to be able to prevent this, keeping those numbers small. Uh, a lot of devourers here. And trying to be as cost efficient as you can, trying to stay over the space so the Marines can't reach. But the Valkyrie's coming in here, and Valkyrie's doing a pretty good job here, picking off all of these devourers. And yeah, it looks like this is going to be shut down, so nicely done by Blue here. Going to live uh, another day and give himself another opportunity. That counter attack uh, is very scary uh, when you're not 100% prepared for it. Uh, so good recovery with these uh, mass star ports to hold on here. Uh, more mute is coming in here. Don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, Def Jam uh, thinks uh, again about that and is going to retreat. Do not want to fight Mutas versus this number of Valkyries. Um, a little low on minerals. He wants to be building more factories now. He does want to get that ta tank mass up. Um, but yeah, it looks like there's going to be Guardians Devourers and Lurker Swarm coming in here. Building up his Evo Chambers, the second spy. Going to get all of his upgrades and start adding some uh, hatcheries. Is uh, transitioning a little bit, but also looking to apply some pressure. I don't see any defilers quite yet. Yeah, okay, there is one defiler being built here up there. I can see uh, starting to push his creep up back to his choke a little bit. These Valkyries going to come in here and not the most anti -air. I guess he does have devourers, but these could be looking to kill off some overlords. Luckily for Def Jam, he did kind of throw up most of his overlords up there. But does have overlord speed as well. So potentially going to be looking for uh, drops, something that is also super deadly. Lurker Swarm Drops can be devastating, throw some Lings in there and some Hydrids, and you got yourself a main, dead main for sure. Uh, we got some Defilers coming up here that have just freshly consumed some of their allied drones here, and they are looking to do some swarming. Uh, pretty good recovery here for Blue, but he just doesn't have a good tank count out, I don't think, and not, and not quite enough vessels. Uh, not really anything substantial to deal with all of these lurkers that are going to be coming in here with Swarm. Uh, you really want to have your vessels up here to try to uh, erad those defilers before they can get up here and consume. But you can see no siege tanks going to let this, uh, this uh, defiler get right up close and throw down two very offensive uh, swarms here. The lurkers are just going to run right in. No, going a little overboard there missing their mark but another swarm is going to go down potentially he did have to uh, uh, suck up his own lurker here but yeah he's getting really close to that main uh, just nothing you can do with that 
gonna have to try to errad those Despoilers as much as he can, but they are gonna be coming, and more Lurkers, more Links are just going to be uh, running in here, and they're gonna have a heyday as no choke is yet established. Factories being rushed up a little bit. Some of these machine shops are actually blocking these siege tanks in. Um, but yeah, this I guess there, it's possible it holds in, but I think with his reinforcements of Defilers, going to swarm right by that Nexus, and there is a little bit of a hole there, and yeah, that is going to be GG, no doubt about it. Once all these SCVs go down there, this main is going to be under fire, and just not enough here to defend. Uh, very nice going for that throat, the jugular of that Terran player. Uh, yeah, and hitting him right in the economy. Link's coming in here, just ravishing down everything. And GG is called. Def Jam going to go up 1-0 in this best of three. Round one of Tony G's Christmas upset tournament where anything is possible. Anyone can upset anyone. And we'll see if Def Jam can get past that upset curse and advance to that second round. See you in uh, game number two once we take a quick little gander at this score screen. Uh, good stuff there. Good numbers. Great numbers. Some of the best numbers I've seen. And we'll see you in game number two. Game number two commencing now. And we have Dev Jam in the top right position as the powerful Proto. Oh my goodness, my voice is cracked there. As the powerful Protoss. And up in the bottom right position, we have Zerg as Lacusi 2. Um, pretty sure he's, he's Ollie, Ali, 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 Oxen Free. Um, but yeah, we're going to see how this goes. Not the, um, not the matchup you want when you need to win two games in a row. Um, a little unfortunate for him. He's going to be up against the Protoss versus Zerg, which is uh, one of the most difficult matchups, if not the most difficult matchup in this game. Uh, Def Jam saying a lag. Uh, I think Blue is agreeing. Saying, either asking why or saying, yeah. Can't be completely sure what that single letter response means. Um, but I'm going to go with, yeah, he's saying, yeah. Going to go for that Nexus first is Mr. Def Jam. Um, let's see if he's going to go for a stack of gateways here. Or if he is going to opt for that more tech-heavy build. Um, one single gateway? Okay, so it looks like he's going to go for at least two gateways here. Uh, which is all safe stuff here. We see the Zerg player doing his standard hatchery. Not too much um, for him to do. Uh, he's going to have to play it safe and standard and try to sneak out a win here. Overlord out on the middle of the map to look for that mid build. A third and fourth gateway looks like it's going to go down. So uh, Def Jam is going to be massing fairly heavily. And going to try to break this uh, Zerg player. I guess he doesn't quite know it's a Zerg yet. Uh, we're just going to tell Timothy. I'll at you in a little bit. Alright, uh, then we're going to have to do d d so I don't construct it again. Uh, a, a single gas going down here as well. Um, and, yeah, okay. I don't think they have seen each other yet. Okay, no, they do know the matchup right now, so uh, Blue is going to throw up another Sunken to have some Zerglings here to make sure that no Zealot run bias can happen. Uh, the Zergling is going to sneak in and see what he is up against. Going to see that he's up a single gas and a four gateway build. A very solid build here from Mr. Def Jam. Uh, going to get a forge up as well. Maybe throw down some robotics facilities here at the choke of our Zerg player. Uh, the Zergling is going to die. But I think he got the information he needed. He is going to throw down those cannons. And I, I, I think he's gonna, it's going to be a, a robo at the choke here for our uh, Protoss player. Uh, the Zerg 
just macro up as much as he can here. No gas yet for him. And right as I say that, he does throw down his first gas. So uh, by the looks of it, I think he is just going to go for that standard, um, just building up some hydralisks to defend against drops, maybe snipe off a couple of these reavers if they get a little uh, aggressive without much protection. Third assimilator finishing now for Def Jam. So getting a lot of early gas here now. Still no Siddle of the Doom, so I think he is just saving up all of his gas for these robotics facilities. Um, and then he's maybe going to start massing up gateways outside of the Zerg to just really put on that pressure. Um, the yeah, it's going to be really up to Blue here, who is getting a, a decent number of hatchery and Hydro's Den just starting now. I'm uh, going to get down that creep colony, going to get a sunk in there at the main, because typically uh, this first dropship is going to be used to shuttle in at least four zealots over here, which are going to try to... to, to well, first, their plan is going to be to try to snipe off some drones here. If they can land on top and just click those drones, that is going to be helpful, or they're just going to try to pile up here and wait for that reaver. So there is going to be four to eight zealots, depending on how quickly Blue deals with it, to uh, be fighting with his reaver, which can always be scary if you have that many units surpassing, or just like in your base past that choke. So we do see that reaver and that dropship. It does have his zealots over here, but I think these four zealots are going to be waiting to jump in. Uh, that first dropship, uh, going to, yeah, just, just there is a little bit of time before that reaver is out. We'll see if I'm right. We'll see. Yeah, there we go. We do see him reloading in. Uh, that is what you want to do. Sometimes you can just win right here before your reavers are out, but, uh, Blue, no noob, does have his hydralis making right now in that perfect timing. The dropship coming right in that front, going to drop those zealots right in a safe area. See if he tries to get some damage on. He's going to see that there is some uh, sunken colonies around here and some hydras. Uh, so he isn't going to keep them alive. Yeah, he does want to try to keep these alive. Uh, this Reaver is out now. Starport as well. Going to build those Corsairs. Pick off some of those Overlords. And uh, just deter that Z uh, Zerg player from going for those Mutas. Again, I don't think that he needs to send these in quite yet. And it's going to try to go after those drones, which is a uh, good idea. But I think he got. Well, I think did he get one there? Yeah, I see a little bit of blood there. He did get one. Um, and now he's just going to use these reavers back here, a little bit safer, as he sees that there is a lot of sunken colonies and um, hydralis out. So he is just going to use these to pick away the choke. Now that I zoomed in, I don't know what the ooh, default zoom is here. Uh, it doesn't seem right, but whatever, we're just going to have to deal with it for a little extra zoomed out. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. First course, they're going to go after those overlords. Uh, do have that Siddle of the Dune with a little, uh, zealot speed, so it looks like he's going to go for the Reaver Zealot Break if he can. A whole hell of a ton of uh, Sunkins being thrown down, though, here for our Zerg player. Uh, really looking to buy himself some time, and that actually is the proper call right now. Uh, an overreaction to Sunken, as yeah, he is uh, looking to break him ASAP. Not going to quite transition into those uh, high Templar drops uh, like you would normally see a lot of the Protoss players do. A couple of these mental slugs running into their own death for no reason. Super frustrating. For Def Jam, Def Jam going to lose three or four Reavers there for absolutely no reason at all other than just these Reavers having very tiny brains. Uh, one does survive though, it is doing some pretty good damage to these creep colonies. Uh, normally they're 100% cost efficient versus just straight up sunken, but sometimes, yeah, they're small little brains just want to be off this uh, earth and kill themselves. Uh, Hydralis still being uh, made, Inspire just being built now. Uh, Def Jam has been macroing like a beast though, massing off of just these four gateways and has had himself a huge number of those. That 166 um, supply here, and with these Reavers and these mass speed zealots, he could be coming in. He has to move these Reavers up a little bit closer though. Hydras behind these sunkets are massing a massive DPS here, but these numbers just look like they are possibly too much here. 
for our Protoss player, or maybe not just a, just gonna be, I don't know. It's, it's a really tight race here, but Def Jam has definitely broken the choke, and Blue is now panicking a little bit here. Gonna have to try to micro these Hydralis the best he can because these speed zones are just eating them up, everything in their pathway. Reaver's still not quite joining the army. He's gonna pull back a little bit too these zealots gonna wait for some reinforcements doesn't want to throw away his advantage right now these corsair is still picking off overlords and yeah blue is in a very tough spot his, his choke is broken uh and yeah he just he, just not what you want in it in this situation he's <laughs> not what you want in any situation really a bunch of reavers and zealots just chilling inside your base waiting for reinforcements uh, coming in here, continuing to just target down the sunken colonies while these reavers just wreck havoc in the back. Uh, more reinforcement. Mutas are being built, so maybe these mutas can help clean up some of these reavers and pick off this one single Corsair. Could be just what he needs, but he is officially supply stuck. Uh, these, and these reavers are just getting closer and closer to this main. A couple of mutas do pop out, and uh, he's gonna have to either. Sacrifice himself to pick out these. Okay, very nice. A scourge to do come out to take out that Corsair. And now, yeah, these high or these mutas are gonna have free reign on these reavers. But these reavers are just inching closer and closer. Even gonna take take a pick off the spire and the evil chamber. Um, so their life wasn't in complete vain. And this zerg is left in shambles. Um, mutas versus Corsair is not what you want, and uh, I think the next round of reinforcements is going to be more than enough here. These gateways are just right outside of the choke and are going to be ready to reinforce. Some lurkers are built, some Zerglings Hydra, so he does have a, a little bit of a nice unit combination and didn't lose any drones, so he is going to also have a little bit of economy if he can somehow. Uh, just reestablish himself. He is doing his best right now to remass some of these sunken. Uh, Reaver's looking like it's going to get ready to drop because one shot on these drones would just be absolutely devastating. Uh, trying to rebuild the best he can, and he may actually hold on. There's four lurkers here nicely spread out, and there isn't an observer yet. So, uh, right now, though, Def Jam, knowing that he is at a uh, huge advantage and is just going to uh, fight through it regardless, doesn't want to give the Zerg any time. Uh, and it's just going to throw away the units as he can definitely afford to do that at this uh, at this time. Uh, while he waits for uh, observers to come, we do have observers making them now. Uh, and this next push is going to be, I think, it's, I think it's going to be GG. I don't like to call it too early, but uh, four lurkers is his main defense right now. Um, a bunch of. No upgrades. Well, we do have one upgrade for the Protoss player, but these Reavers going to pick off these uh, Lurkers. No, oh, somehow does survive that. Uh, normally, they they can actually one shot them with that Lurker damage upgrade, but that that Lurker somehow survives three shots. Uh, coming in here though, he does have Side Storm. Now he also added uh, these Dragoons, Reavers, even a DT in there just for giggles. And yeah, it looks like he is going to devastate this Zerg player and uh, kill him before he needs to go in those those drops. Even bringing a Reaver back here just for fun, going to get all of not all of those those drones pulling them out but uh, nowhere to run here uh, and yeah GG is going to be called well played by Def Jam uh, playing nice and solid and taking care of business uh, not going to allow for any opportunity for an upset and is going to advance on to that second round can't remember who he plays next but we'll throw up those brackets here uh, right as the score screen comes up, there you go. You can now see the brackets. We can see who he's playing. And, uh, yeah, we only have two more series left in this first round. And they are already scheduled to play. JH has confirmed his uh, game time with Cold Rust. And Hardy versus Hydra will also be scheduled to play. Uh, so the first round looks like that everyone is going to participate. Everyone's going to get their games in in pretty good time. And we're off to an excellent start to this Tony G Christmas tournament. Um, 
Yeah, so far every series has been Gozu. That might be the least exciting series so far, as uh, there wasn't really Def Jam wasn't really under too much threat of getting upset. He did 2-0 the, there, uh, but still a great series nonetheless. Uh, some great games, GG guys. We'll see you in the next one. Have a merry Tony G Christmas tournament, and yeah, GG guys. See you uh, later.